Okay, back on with the daily games. Just taking a look. Um, trying to keep our long play thinking in check. So this game currently looks like it, again, could peter out to be a draw or it could be lost, depending on position. We've both got knights, and if they get there, I've just blocked off here, stopping the knight from jumping here. King is blocking here. So I'm doing a lot of blocking, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing a lot of attacking. So I'm thinking maybe the knight comes up here, tries to work its way around, but their knight is just protecting the pawn. It's probably going to stay there forever. Our king can't get here. And I'm a bit mindful of trying to squeeze it across here, but then the knight just comes around maybe and starts attacking. And plus their king is now starting to make its way down towards the pawns. So is it a better idea for us to move here? Because this pawn's going to be touching our knight, so the knight's going to have to move. Which gives their knight the space to come here. So we could have gone and attack their knight and see what happens, but they don't have to take. We've got to remember this. They could just jump here. And then they do have this position, which is attacking the pawn and the king. So they've already got an attack formation already set, really. So we attack, they jump here. And does my knight have an attack position of its own? No, it doesn't, you see. I don't have that sort of position. Which isn't right, is it? And if they did go there, our king can't even come here to stop the knight from jumping there. So that's pretty good. I mean, even if the king came here, they could still go there. So do we come round the back? don't think it's going to make much difference, is it? Because they still can come here to attack this square. Uh, what am I thinking? Can the knight come and protect that square? Hmm, let's run for it. Goes there, doesn't take, goes here. Our knight is here. Got to check on the king, but it's just inviting the king further down. Yeah, and it's not got any attacks on any of these. Yeah, their position is a little bit better than ours. How can I circumvent that? Can't really circumvent it at all. I'm just sitting waiting for them to do the move there and there. So we move the king across. But again, their king can come down and start attacking our pawns. Hmm don't like this one at all. I don't think we're in a good shape here. Move the knight across. Move the knight across. King comes down. Damn. I think we're going to struggle with this one. Or the knight comes here, whichever one comes there. So if they do go there, we can push the pawn up. And then if they continue, then at least we can move the king to here. But then he's probably going to get a whirlwind again, isn't he? Um, comes down to attack this pawn. And if we moved this pawn, he takes this pawn. Wow! That's a lot of attacking potential for their knight. And we don't have diddly squat. Knight here, come round and try and save something. Does it do anything? That's a bit much, isn't it? That's a bit much. Move the king up. Knight continues. We can leave, mind you, they're going to hit our knight, aren't they? So go there, the knight goes here. It's still going to be that same picture, isn't it? We push the pawn. They continue with their move because they're looking to come down here. 
we continue with the move maybe we go and hit their pawn okay so we move he goes there because he's got protection they might not be thinking any of this but i'm just thinking that's the worst case for us it's just going to peel off the pawn so go there goes there we push onto their pawn doesn't have to take he can still continue but i think he probably will take he can continue but i think they'll take then we take then he's here will he even bother going that way this time so i think we're going to go with this we know the danger of the knights i don't know if we circumvented it or not so yeah we'll lock that in Okay, so this one here, it's looking, I think the, they're wanting to get their rook here to put a check on our king. So I think we're just going to take, we're looking to try and get this pawn promoted or get the rook off the board either way. So I think we can just take with the king because we can. I don't suppose it makes much difference, does it really? Taking with the pawn, it comes down, puts a check on, we move the king up. To here and then he's coming round the back for the pawn then we can just attack it so that's going to be more of an enticing maneuver isn't it to get them to come round the back and then we can hopefully get their rook off the board I think we'll go with that let's go with that just to entice the rook to attack here let's do that Shall we lock that in? And this one's a bit sketchy. This is, this should really be a draw just based on, we're plus two at the moment, but the position I've tried to open up this space around the flank and see whether or not we can get away because he's got this pawn here that he's looking to support. We've got this pawn here stopping this rook getting into the activity at the minute. So I'm simply taking the pawn here and um, locking that in. Okay, right. Um, don't think I've seen this one for a while. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, this was one where I said afterwards, I said to myself, I think I did that wrong. I did the move order wrong. I was supposed to, when the rook moves, wherever it's moving to, I was supposed to then support the pawn because the queen was going to be taken. But I totally negated. When you're doing these daily games, you know, and you're playing so many of them, you genuinely do forget your calculations. And I probably moved, probably moved maybe a little bit too quick, but I, I don't think I did. I think I was talking about my moves and this, that and the other, and I just totally negated the fact the queen was taken here. And I did, in my calculations previous, push the pawn just to support, just to keep it nice and simple. Because we were basically looking at getting the um, knight off the board with the bishop. So we went and challenged the rook, which we didn't need to do that just yet. It's a move order thing, so they can take with their queen. So it's kind of messed that up a little bit. We can take the knight now because we're thinking the knight's going to cause us some problems dancing around. So I believe now taking is pretty straightforward, but... The rook can come here and it's supported by the queen and then there's going to be like a checkmate type thing. So do we just take the rook off the board first? Because then we've got two pieces attacking the um, knight. So he has to spend time taking taking the um, rook off the board. So taking the rook off the board, then we can take the knight. Yes, he does have the bishop facing here, but is that too much trouble at the minute? I don't think so. Our poor queen is on the other side of the board. Is there potential for taking this pawn and trying to get an eye on this situation? But if we take the knight, the queen will be there. So we're probably not going to do that. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure going on. But I think I'm locking in taking the rook off the board. And this one here, we're attempting to avoid a draw. But I don't think we're going to get away with it because... The knight is just chomping at the bit to get this off the board. I'm trying to avoid it as best possible. Uh, we were planning on getting 
I did think they might have gone back because they were going up here. Let's just, yeah, so they were in the corner and had the idea of, oh, well, if we hit here and then if he goes back again, then maybe we can get the king up and support and then we can come and attack it again. But they haven't done that. So they're looking for a draw. I don't think it's unavoidable. I think it is going to be a draw. So I'm going to attempt pushing the pawn up, but somehow I think the pawns are going to come off come off somehow, especially with his knight now covering this square. Saving grace is the king is over the other side of the board, but I, I still think it's going to come out to be a draw. Let's push the pawn. Let's lock that in. And this one, oh, oh yeah, I've had to sacrifice my rook because there was a bit of a situation building up. And this game, again, shows you have to do your calculations. Even though I'm going real slow and I'm doing my calculations, I'm not doing them quick, I'm not making any errors in my mind at the time. But because I'm playing so many, um, I just didn't see that they've got a few pieces protecting and attacking this pawn. So they take one and they, we have to take back. Well, we don't have to, but we take and we just take because it's a piece. And they take and then obviously we're going to take back because it's a piece. So the move order um, was slightly wrong in terms of, not necessarily the move order, but knowing what pieces were protecting my pieces and instead of i should have waited maybe instead of pushing the pawn up first i was keen to push it i was like yeah 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 i don't know what i thought maybe i thought the knight was protecting the square or something even though it's all the way over here so i was ending up having to lose a, a pawn let me just have a look at the tail of the tape on there yeah so it's even stevens at the minute so i didn't need to do that i should have held hung, hung fire and just found something else. I could have just attacked their bishop or something like that. Because the knight is protecting this pawn here. So I got a little bit carried away. So in this game here, I'm down a rook. So if we capture, they've got one, two, three, four. We've got one, two, three, four. They've got two rooks. And they've got two minor pieces. And we've got three minor pieces and a rook. So in that essence, we've got three flexible pieces and they've got two flat rooks. So the power base for the rooks is really about owning files and stuff, open, you know, owning the files, trying to work themselves together. So they may end up sacrificing themselves. But now we've got to try and find some sort of improved position on this board. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we get on. So we'll lock it in. And what's this game got for us? Uh, yeah, this was a strange, odd looking one. They're plus one at the moment. I've just gone up to see if I can get an exchange of the rook. But they're not wearing any of it. They're attacking pawn, pawn. So they're going to be up two, depending on what happens next. My rook is not in the right place, really. Can't come back down. Nothing really can protect the pawn. But the closer he goes over there, maybe there's space. See, my brain is thinking something along the lines of getting this knight here, managing this kind of square. But the rook can't get into any of these because of the pawns. So I'm going to have to bring the rook back down. He takes come across that's all a bit too slow so i think it's all about the night move a night move of sorts i think personally so the knight coming here it's attacking it. well it's not attacking the rook but knight comes here or maybe it can even come here can't it because then it gets a check on the king obviously it's not a very good check because the king can just come here So we go there, the rook takes the pawn, obviously. Our poor rook. 
Maybe we need to do a rook move first because it's just stuck in there, isn't it? Move the rook first, rook takes. Bring the rook across, king comes down, panicking. The knight won't be there yet, so that's a bit slow. It's not all slow, you see. Mm. <laughs> yes, not a fan of this one, not a fan of this at all. Bad position. Knight here, he takes... Rook down. His knight. Actually, his knight could just jump down because we can't actually take, can we? Because he's got the rook. So his rook could, knight could come and put a check. We have to move. He puts a check. King comes across. So that's potentially what they're going to do to us. Interesting times. What is the move? What is the move? Get the rook in the game. I think getting the rook in the game. Rooks have no place in the centre of the board. Let's do this first. Yep. I did think they were going to take the, the rook really, but um, they've got sights on bigger fish. So let's lock that in. I thought it was a live game for a second there. Uh -huh. Okay, so this one we've managed to get the bishop here to protect this area. So going to bring the bishop and take the rook off the board. So we'll lock that one in. Boom, boom, boom. Well, this one feels like it's just started, but positionally, again, rook's not got any power really there. The knight's protecting, bishop's protecting here and here. They've got a knight on the back, which they're going to want to get into the game. So we've got the two bishops. Obviously, this bishop um, can't go here. This pawn's got no protection on it. Don't have anything that can attack it. So what's the deal? What's the deal? What can we do? We can do non-moves, like bringing the bishop here to come here. Making space for the pawn, maybe attacking. Looks like it's going to be that sort of um, party. Let's bring the knight here, maybe. Again, it's not really doing anything. Rook wants to get into the game, but it's just not being allowed. I think it's just moving the bishop around. Just gets attacked, though, doesn't it? What am I hitting? <laughs> pawn move. Pawn move, tuck in. Seems a little bit more active, just pushing these pawns up whilst they're de deciding. So now it's not coming in here, it's not going there. Could jump here, attack the bishop. Then they simply just drop the pawn. Knight comes here, drops the pawn. Will that be a waste? Of, that's a waste of a move, isn't it? So then I have to come back again. Hmm. I don't like wasting moves. And plus we are protecting here. The bishop's here protecting at the minute. Knight comes here. If they don't do any of that, we attack the bishop. Doesn't have to take. If we don't do anything, bring the bishop here. I'm going to lock this one in. And see, I think they'll just drop the pawn though. Yeah, let's just throw that in there. Looks kind of active ish. What we've got here. Oh, this is one where we're trying to squish the king with the rook, but it looks a little bit. So we're wanting to bring this rook here and go for a checkmate, but there is something that they can do, isn't there? We go here and. Yeah, this pawn can come down, can't it? And block the rook from coming here. But it's not blocking it, but... So is there anything else? 
because it'd be just a draw if I keep going backwards and forwards and he goes there, he's going to be dropping here. That pawn's dropping down, we don't have nothing. What does the white square bishop want to do? So we go up, pawn drops. Pawn drops, king is on a white square. We'd get the rook off though, wouldn't we, I think? Pawn drops. We go here. Their pawn takes. Rook takes. Still got the check on the king. Oh, mind you, we won't get it for free. Well, no, we wouldn't get it for free. We'd be losing two rooks and they still have their rook here. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Go back. He goes back to Wednesday came again. Even if we push the rook up, timing wise, it's still going to be the same. But maybe we'll look to just trade the rook off. So they go back. Might not move the king, might do something else. Might like taking or something. Or... Yeah, I think I'm locking this in. Because we're going to go here. If he stays there, then he stays there. If he doesn't... So if he stays there and does another move, I don't know. Maybe brings this rook here. So, but then the bishop can take. So that's out the window. So we go here. Uh, I just think he's going... He can't go back. He can't move because of that. So the pawn is dropping. That's what we said, isn't it? Yeah, so the pawn is dropping. What did I see? What did I see? So we'll go here, just get his rook off the board. That looks very simple, more simplified, doesn't it? So go here, he goes back, protecting the rook. And we take the rook off the board, and the king takes. And we still have the same situation ish. We could come here. But they're probably wise to it now and they'll bring the pawn here to stop the rook from coming here. So our rook's in the middle of the ball, but it's supported by the pawn. This pawn's got no protection on. So there'll be a shift. So if we're here, we do have this pawn. If his pawn is there, we can hit their pawn. Doesn't have to take though, because he can just block down and then our rook is not getting in there. But at least we've got this pawn chain going on. So then all the attacks are going to happen around here. Do we lose out? Okay, I think I'm happier with that, maybe, I think. Because this is definitely not working if they do this. We push the pawn, but then he takes the rook, so that's not that's not working. So let's go here, make it look like we're going for a draw, and we'll just take the rook off the board. Let's remember. Oh, the enticements worked. Okay, so they are definitely coming across here, so we'll be looking to attack the rook. So we'll hide in this corner here, unless of course I'm missing something. I don't think I am really. If they forget themselves, thinking they're coming around the back. So let's move that out of the way and give that a tick. Oh, it's this game. I know this player would still be staying on. Yeah, they're onto a winner here, aren't they? We could hit the pawn. They're onto a winner here. We do have a check on their king. Do we win anything? Moment in time. What did we say? We said we were going to be hitting this pawn. But we can't do that yet because his knight hasn't moved because we thought the knight was moving there. So if we put a check on the king, knight's got no protection on, king just comes here. Do we swing here? We're still mindful. We know what they're wanting to do with this knight. Well, we think we know. 
Oh, I could just hit the pawn. Hit the pawn. He doesn't have to take. He can dance, but we'll just take. And he's just elevating his king further down the board. So maybe he's wanting his king to get to this position. So then at least he's um, jamming in. So I'm going to hit the pawn. Because we're just waiting for their deadly knight moves. Let's go and attack the pawn. He can push past, but we can take with this pawn. Or we can take with the king, king whichever. Does he have a way of getting our king away with a check? No, 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 no. I'm getting this pawn for free. I'm locking that in. All right, so it looks like we've, yeah, we've gone round and round. So I could be on here forever and a day. It's 25 minutes we've been in and we're seeing the same games now. So I'm not really looking at playing like a rapid game. I'm wanting to put long play thinking into the games. And this is making me move a little bit faster because I'm seeing the same games. I need that time to think. But we did say if they did attack, then we could bring the knight here. Yeah, because we were planning to actually attack their bishop, which doesn't have any protection on. So you'd think, well, if they took our knight, they're doubling their pawns, we get the bishop for free anyway. So we could just continue attacking their bishop. I think that feels better. So I'm going to lock that in. I don't think it's being too arty or fancy. I'm not, yeah, I don't think it is. Because we get to disrupt their pawn structure if they do take. And this doubling of the pawns thing is really sticking in my brain. Because it's like, there's pluses and minuses to it. And I'm really trying to get a, a practical application of it. And there's right time to do it and there's wrong times to do it. I think this is a wrong time for them to double the pawns. And it gives us a bit of an ad advantage. That's what I'm thinking. I'll be totally wrong. but I'm sticking with it. So we'll lock that in. And queen exchange situation. This is a new one. We're plus one here. And let's go back, back, back a bit. So they've got a roving queen. And we thought we'd get a little bit of a sly one with a discover check on the queen. The queen has moved. And now we've gone for a check on the king. Obviously thinking, yeah, the queen's probably going to come and attack. And then Umin and Arin as to, okay, well, we're going to be actually splitting the pawns. Again, pawn structure coming towards the end of the game. It's something I'm trying to work on and trying to improve on. The smallest, tiniest of advantages, that's all we're, we're trying to gain. So we take, and we've got to check on the king, so the pawn is going to be taken. But it's how do we take advantage of any of that? I mean, the bishop wants to come here, attack this pawn, if the rook wants to start attacking our rook. So I think simply capturing the queen with the idea of splitting the pawns. Oh, and they've gone for it. So we'll hit the rook, and I think they'll just go and try and hit the bishop. To which we, we're not going to lose much sleep over. Yeah, so we did cover that. If they bring their rook here, we can push the pawn because it's going to get promoted then anyway. And they can take the bishop and we'll get a promotion. Yeah, so we're going to bring the rook here and lock that in. And they, wow, I feel like I'm playing a rapid game or something here. But they're making the moves that we're expecting, so I'm not having to do too much thinking on that score. So bring the knight up and capture. That's pretty straightforward. And that's it. We've reached the end. Good session.